by choosing delegations. That's republicanism. Protestantism is a church. Uh, <coughs> but we know we have the Democrats and the Republicans right now, the two governments, as the two parties. All right? And right now, for the record, uh, election <coughs> election is <coughs> in pro progress and people are choosing the government. But what we have discovered is that <coughs> yes, the people are <coughs> depending on the Constitution to protect them they expected that the one who is leading based on the law should have a lead or the one or the those who are leading a senate the judicial the the judicial the uh, executive and the legislative they the people expect that when they put them there they should take care of the people, take care of their religious rights, take care of their uh, all the rights. Uh, see every man as equal. See every man as being equal, uh, as a God-given gift. So it would imply that, or mean that only God should take away your freedom. But anyway, govern according to the law. <coughs> what we are seeing is that this will significantly uh, <coughs> be reduced. And that's why we have the Bible showing us the future, that there will be an image to this system being portrayed in this beast and of course started in this beast. This is one beast in two phases, pagan Rome. Uh, and we'll talk a little more that, about that because uh, pagan Rome <coughs> was overthrown really by Christianized Rome, ecclesiastical Rome. Uh, and so they buy into Christianity, they force their the pagans to turn into, to, to become Christian, be converted. But God doesn't deal with force, force um, conversion. God does not deal with force conversion. But anyway, we are looking at the horns, and we are touching on a little part of this and that, but we are focusing on the power in the horns. Horns power. Horns power. And these two little innocent horn, horns uh, will prove to be more deadly, more powerful, uh, most powerful. All right. Uh, <clears throat> where does that lead us in terms of horn? Well, we said that we have... Um, we said that we have... 39 horns, just uh, prophetic horns, I'm talking, not horns like irregular horse or, I mean, <laughs> irregular <laughs> oxes and things that are, are, you may blow one of those horns. And <clears throat> just to say horns, uh, horns fall out or drop off, you know, you shed horn, but you don't shed head. All right. uh, you shed horns, but you don't shed head. So we go to um, we go to this, and we will deliberate on this more so when we come again. And then we have one other to introduce tonight. Well, let's read Revelation 12, and uh, we will um, <coughs> come back to that. We will come back to that while, while you get your Bibles and you, now you realize that 
uh, strong meat and it is right there in the Bible, get your Bible, join us, tell somebody, invite a friend, share the videos, talk somebody, we are here, because we are going into the, the dragon and then the final beast will introduce them tonight and deliberate on them. Come on, Thursday. We'll be back Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A song. of the beast, strong meat. I have a song here. Oh. 
travelers go. I'll try to turn the night to day. Make flowers bloom along the way. Flies in the sun is sinking low. A new morning. We are going to meet the deeds that we have done and one of those deeds is to ignore what the Word of God is saying to us especially in the last days. <coughs> Don't be deceived. <coughs> you see our time has run out so we are going to just uh, read about this horn. We're going to just <coughs> introduce you to this horn. Um, the dragon, or why don't we read it? Revelation chapter 12. The dragon has ten horns and seven heads. He's equipped and now that we have discovered the Bible has <clears throat> uh, explain all these horns up to now and tell us exactly where we are going forward we can put them in categories and keep them in their categories so to speak you had seven hands that heads and ten horns yeah. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. There appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, great having dragon. seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. All right, stop there. This is where we will leave you tonight, as we have discovered <clears throat> all of this down to the color we will have to um, have our discourse on that. But I just want to show you here tonight that we are looking on the political system on the dragon and we are looking also at the religious system on the dragon. Now there's a switch. The religious system on the dragon has the authority. The religious system, the heads are wearing the crowns, not the horns. Not the political system <laughs> in power in this period of the dragon. We will be... Uh, There's we a reverse. Be, yes. And look at that dragon too. A big, red, red great dragon. red dragon. We look at the horns, then the heads, then the, uh, the wings, the body of the beast in general, um, <clears throat> and two women. Two women. God bless you. Amen. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship 
and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us. Be healed, be delivered, be sanctified, be forgiven. Uh, rise up, stand up on the promises of God and keep the faith in the name of Jesus. Join us back here on Thursday. Uh, we will be uh, <coughs> combing through this as long as it takes. God bless you. Share the videos. Tell somebody um, to join us at the next session. Thank you. Amen. Peace, 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 peace.